There we go. We can now make a forge. This is a good day, you guys. This is a good day. Oh, seriously? Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days of Anna for 21.1. This is the Dead is Dead series. I'm an old guy gaming, and we have ourselves bacon and eggs, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, but uh, what we're going to do is, in this episode, we're going to do the next job. Um, but I'd also like to do a little bit of hunting, too, because uh, um, we need to make it more open. Oh, speaking of which, look at what we got over here. We got ourselves deer. Okay, so let's see if we can get this deer. Um, anyway, hunting, because we need more food, basically. That is what it amounts to. Nice. Uh, I need some more 7.62 ammo as well. Okay, so we got 20 pieces of meat from there. Uh, I almost wonder... We do have a point, too. I almost wonder if it'd be worthwhile for us to put at least one point into the huntsman what does this do 20 percent more resources um the thing is is you know this is this is only really beneficial in the early game i always end up with so much meat in this game with never putting any points into that so i don't think we will i think we'll just stick to our guns and i think we were working on strength so we've got strength up to level three, and so let's put a point into Pummel Pete. Very good, and uh, that gets us a little bit stronger now with uh, with clubs. So what I'm going to do then is let's take this meat here and get it cooking up with some bacon and eggs as well, and then we'll go ahead and get started then with our our job nice look at that four <clears throat> excuse me so four we need about four and a half minutes of burn time that's good enough let's grab those whilst we're at it we'll put the bones in here that can go in there the leather can go wherever the hell i'm putting leather which is also in here those two things i want to just take and sell to the trader and good all right so four more bacon and eggs is going to Get us in good shape when it comes to food. Uh, we are going this direction. Okay, so let's go do this job. It is day five, so we are going to need to be thinking about Fortnite here pretty quick. This, oh good, it's a bat or a power attacks to the legs, slow enemies. Very nice, we'll take that. We will take that indeed. What do we got in here? Just some paper. Uh, looks like we've already looted that. More paper there. Ooh, we got a police car. Electronic book. There you go. That's uh, that's some nice stuff, actually. I mean, you know, comparatively, anyways. Let's repair you. Modify. And put that on there and scrap this. Very cool. Okay. Is there any Zeke's in this? Yeah, there's a construction guy right there. Yeah, let's forget about him. Okay, so police car. Um How many lockpicks do I have? I have five lockpicks. We could get a nice little pile of ammo from this car if we can open it. That's good stuff too. Let's try our our luck with the lock picks. <clears throat> I don't think I want to try to break it because we until we can get like a bicycle at least, we can't get away from it very easily. Oh man. I think we got it. Beautiful. There's there's our 762. And nice. That is some good stuff, you guys. 
let's put um, the mandolier on here. It'll help us reload more quickly. And this is a fortified grip mod. So that we should put on our club. So right now the club does 26, 26 power attack damage. Now it does 27. So basically increase those three stats right there. Block damage. Who gives a shit? <laughs> um, cool. All right, let's keep on heading over to our location. We're finding some nice stuff as we loot our way there. Speaking of which, sneaking, you always land silently. Very nice. So if you're sne sneaking and we jump down off of something, we don't make noise. There's a chicken or a rabbit or something. Yeah, nuts. Okay. We might still be able to get it. Let's just see what it does. Tactical warfare. Rabbit's right there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're just a little too far away. Not for the chicken, though. Okay, let's grab the chicken. That got us 15 more meat. So we'll grab the bones from that. All right, is that rabbit still over there? There he is. Really? How in the hell is that missing? Don't take the duct tape. There we go. All right, so we have one nine millimeter shot left. There's some cloth. We'll take that. All right, let's double loot. Well, just the outside anyway. I remember doing this, this POI. And I think there might be a Zeke in that backyard area, so I'd rather not wake him up because then we have to gotta kill him twice. Okay. Oh, you know what else I was thinking too that we need to look for is a, uh, a helmet lamp now that we have an actual armored headpiece. Let's make the rounds again real quick. Now it doesn't matter if we wake someone up back there because we gotta kill them anyway. Got some blue, that's good. So this place did not have a mailbox. I think we can get to the fire engine okay. We just have to watch for the red border. I'm going to drop a couple things off in here because we're 10 points encumbered. Look at this. Uh, Molotovs and torches burn 10% longer. Our fire effects from those things. <clears throat> okay, let's put a few things in here. Got another chicken over here, but you know what? That's too far away. we got to stay here. All right, the dead rooster. Okay. That eliminated them. And we got both. Oh, wow, that was a quick hit. He snapped that sucking, nah, sucking. <laughs> snapped that sucker. I was thinking sucker and effing at the same time. 
Didn't we? Wait a minute. What? Didn't we already loot this guy? What? Well, that's a different chicken. Wait a second. Hold on. We killed a rabbit over here, not a chicken. Hmm. I don't know where, where that chicken came from. I'm not complaining. I just don't understand. <clears throat> okay, cool. So we got two more chickens. Okay, let's break this and head on in. I don't think we'll have anybody else in the front room here. I think we got all of their attentions. A couple of seeds there. Yeah, we got a basement in an upper area. Clear here. What's in this room? A purse. For Ten dollar bills. Um, all right. Well, let's go. Is this door open? No zombos in here. Okay, let's get the water. Again, fun pimps, why in the hell are you not putting beer and grain alcohol in these liquor, liquor boxes? That door's locked. That door's locked. Okay, let's go up. I'm not seeing any red dots, so. There we go. That's we can't sell, and it's certainly not better than this, so we shall scrap it. Okay, now we got a red dot. There you are. Let's hit you in the leg and slow you down. Whoa. You don't look like you're going very slow to me, dude. Okay. So he must have been lying down over here. Very nice. Hmm. Okay. I don't see anywhere to go from out here. Guess we go down. There's chicken. There's two chickens. Lots of red dots. We know that two of those are crawlers, though. Take a night, Gracie. That's right. Stick that head right on out there. I figured you were going to crawl over your buddy. I need to get a bleed on you. There we go. Is that 
door we couldn't open up. Didn't we open a side door over here, though? Another chicken. What is up with the chickens? Did those chickens... No! Get away from my chicken. Did those chickens come from out of the place, or do they just spawn a lot around here? Because this is great. Here I said we were going to go. Oh, what a shot. Go do some hunting after this, but the hunting's right at the job location. Who could ask for more? Let's get this loot. 762, please. Well, you know what? We needed some 9 mils, too. There we go. Not better than what we have. Timber some more damage with 9 millimeter weapons. Beautiful. These we might hang on to. And, you know, adorn them when we get a full set of armor. Look at that. A bag on top of the toilet. Ooh, yeah, baby. We'll keep that. Can't use it right now. Once we get it, if we get a hunting rifle or make a pipe rifle, we can put that on there. All right, I guess that's it for down here. We still have... We still have a Zeke to kill somewhere up up in here. That's unlocked. Has that been unlocked all along or did that unlock at some point on its own? I don't know. Shit. Ooh, that was close. Oh, actually. There we go. Okay, we got some food back here. Nice. Some sham. Don't care about the sand. Definitely take that stuff. I'll take the gasoline. And that's it. Okay, we got all this other stuff too in the fire truck, so let's see. I'm gonna have to kind of sort through it and see what I want to take and what I want to leave, and then I'll meet you guys back over at the trader. There's another chicken. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hello, it must be my lucky day. Thank you, and here you go. I think I'm gonna take the Molotovs. Uh, the weapon flashlight mod would be nice too, but as with the crafting magazines as usual. But I think we'll take the Molotovs because, you know, that's going to help us on Horde Night. Yeah, let's do that. Ah, here we go. Finally. Oh my goodness. Really, game? This would be so nice to have. Um, But not as nice as this. <laughs> well, well, event. Oh, they give you two water filters now. Really? Oh, that's cool. Um, I still think this is this is our best bet, though. Um, so we'll take the bicycle. Fantastic. All right, we have finished tier one. Let's take special jobs from you. Open your trade routes. You Trader Hugh, very friend. good. God, he's going to be in the in the snow biome though, because this is Navis gain. But we do have some snow clothing. Um. Okay, so now I'm going to sell a few things to you. We'll sell you that lead. We'll sell you this, that, and this. I've got 
another 80 some odd feathers back at the base. So let's sell this stack to him. And I think that's it. So that gets us up to 63. Do you happen to have a helmet light? Whoops. You have a mining helmet with a helmet light, but it's really expensive. Well, that sucks. Yeah, okay. And he restocks on day seven. I thank you, kind sir. Very cool. All right, guys, we got ourselves a bicycle finally. Um, that would have been that wrench would have been super nice to have too, uh, as would two water filters. But I mean, we're doing fine on water. We haven't really struggled with water. Uh, but look at this, and it's even blue. My favorite color. That is awesome. Okay, fantastic. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look on the map and see how far north we've got to go. That's a fair jaunt. Um, but I'll tell you what, let's go back home. Let's put our, our cold weather clothing on and let's go see if we can get up to Hugh before the end of the day. That way we can start taking tier one jobs from him and also see if he potentially has a helmet light. So let's run back in here real quick and get the clothing that we're going to need to make this work well. So we'll put those back down there. So we have a puffer coat. Oh, I guess that's all we have. I thought we had a um an insulator thingy too, but apparently not. Do I have any more red tea in here? Or I mean chrysanthemum? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. Um let's pull you out of here. Uh, wait a minute. What am I doing? My bra my brain just decided to take a nap. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Here, put that in there. Yeah, okay. We're going to wear this. We'll keep the college jacket, though. Actually, let's... This gives pretty decent cold resist. But not as good as the puffer coat's going to. Let's put this in here. All right, cool. Um, oh, we have a point as well, but let's um, let's take a bacon and eggs. We brought back a crap ton of meat. And, oh, I know what I was. <clears throat> excuse me, I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna put this water up here. Ah, uh, so yeah, let's pull the recog out and the learning elixir. We'll put the water in here. So, so I'm gonna actually move medical items to here. Oh, I didn't even know those were in there. Or I, I should say I forgot that they were in there. Uh, well, we're just keep going to keep them in there for now because we've got to roll. Or we could sell them to Hugh when we go see Hugh. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we have another point. Um, Not sure what we're going to put that into quite yet. But let's head on up to to the north and uh, go say hi to Hugh. He is the weapons and ammo and maybe tools, weapons and weapons for sure, uh, trader. So he's always a good one to to find.
So it looks like they have Trader Hugh in a in a town. A normal Navis game, he's kind of off on his own. Up in the in the woods a little bit. But yeah, he's definitely in a town here. Okay, let's go talk to him first. Making sure that lumberjack didn't follow me in here. Um, well, you did. Uh, okay. So I suppose you want to be paid. Yeah, I want to be paid. And we want to do jobs for you. This is the closest one. Gig? Yeah, we can do the deracinated well, domicile. We've done that one a few times. All right, do you have a helmet light mod? Hell, why do I keep hitting the damn... Semicolon key. He does not. Son of a bitch, man. What's up with you guys? He's got a weapon flashlight mod. Okay, well, we could put we could get this and put it on our pipe machine gun, so that way when we're in dark places, we'll just carry the pipe machine gun. Um and then, you know, with that between that and the torch on the hatchet. So, yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm going to sell this to you and that to you. I don't know why I didn't sell the gasoline before. All right, what do you have for weapons? You got a nice pipe rifle. So what we could do is we could buy this and put that scope on it that we have back at the base and use it for hunting, but... I don't think we really need to do that. I think we're in pretty good shape at this point. I could buy some ammo. How much would all that cost me? Eleven fifty nine. Yeah, I don't really like to buy ammo in this game because you come across so much of it. So, all right, what else? What do you got for books? Steel arrows and bolts. That one is. I've always had a hard time finding that magazine. So that might be worth buying, just so we have it. I think I'm going to. And I think I'm going to do just that. Excuse me. We'll eventually come across all the glasses and stuff, so I think that's all we're going to get from him. If there's nothing else, you best be on your way. Okay, so let's quickly loot. There we go. We got a wrench. It's a shitty one, but it's a wrench nonetheless. I think that's all we can loot inside of his place, right? Uh, never mind. See, all of these places here are not lootable. Oh, a lootable munitions crate. Oh my goodness. Wow. Damn, son. Um, this is actually better than the level five, even though it's a level one. Okay. That was worth the price of admission. Um, let's, I got repair kits back at the base. Let's put this on here. And let's unload that. We got ourselves an AK, you guys. That's crazy. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, let's uh, go ahead and loot the outside property. See, that clothes rack is lootable. How are you supposed to know which ones are and which ones aren't? By looking at them, that was a stupid thing to ask. Oh, well, my brain's not working too well today. I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit groggy. I got up super early this morning, like 4:30 in the morning, and went fishing. So I'm just tired today. That's my excuse, anyway. Good. Both of those things. Okay, let's go along here. No 
munitions crate here. Has it got anything up here? I don't remember. There's a chair. An unlootable ice chest. Okay. Whoop. What do we got up here? Anything? Does not appear to be anything up here. I know there's stuff down below, but I just want to kind of cover the top of the palisade here first. Look at that medical pile with a vitamin. We'll take it. Gasoline. There we go. We can now make a forge. This is a good day, you guys. This is a good day. Oh, seriously? Oh my gosh. Wow, a crucible, really? That is as lucky as it gets. And we just we just learned the steel crossbow uh, and arrow uh, recipe too. And we can already make steel, I can't believe it. We just got done with tier one and we can make steel. I don't, you know, maybe it happens to you guys, but that doesn't happen to me very often. It usually takes a while before you can get, get to steel. So I'm uh, not complaining about that at all. No sirree Bob. Check this army truck. Wow. Okay, cool. We got another bandolier mod. We'll just, we'll probably hang on to it, put it on a piece of armor that we'll sell. Okay, cool. Let's check up in this tower here. I think we've... Yeah, we already hit that truck. And then we'll sell off the sellables to him. And then be on our way. Speak quickly. All right. Let's see. We'll keep the machete parts, military armor parts. Nah, I think I'm going to sell those for now. Can I sell this buckshot? Yeah, just to free up the space. He's not going to buy 90 of those. We need at least 100 of those to sell. Um, how much do we get for that? 120? I think... I'm just going to sell it now in the interest of space. All right. Wow, man, that was so good. So good to find that. Um There really isn't Well, it's about time you Anything bought else in here I want to get rid of, but we do have so storage in the bike too, so And like I said, I've got repair kits to repair this back at the base. Uh, we don't really need the stones. We can uh, chuck those. Oh, we can sell this to him. Let's uh, let's repair it. Hundred thirty-six coin. There you go. Not too bad. Um, Are we done? These here? we can just scrap to. Make a, a little bit more room. And likewise, here, let's repair this fully as well. Okay. Yeah, guys, we uh we done good today, man. Real good. We missed this. I'll take the wood, but not the rotten stuff. Oh, you know what? We didn't actually go along. Here. There we go. 
shut up. Got a crash. And some more gas. Good, so now we can sell some gas. What was that? Duckbill mod. Uh I think for the moment. Man, you know what though? Let's let's go ahead and learn it. Because that'll come in handy later. I missed this. Yeah, I missed all this. Well shit, I don't care about that. Yeah, we can't sell that, can we? I missed all the stuff along the the bottom of the catwalk. Because that's where we were moving along. Okay, let's sell that gasoline to him. We'll chuck that. If there's nothing else, you best be on your way. I'm going to switch these to those guys. Do we have... If we had some feathers... Well, no, we need a workbench, actually, to make the steel arrows. That's right. Oh, shit. I think what we're going to do is go back home and let's just keep working tier two with Bob and then, you know, we'll, we'll come back here maybe after Horde Night 7 and start working this area. I think that's what we'll do because we're just a little bit better established where, you know, where we currently are and, um, we can get a forge going, you know, and, and, and that sort of thing, get some mining going. Oh, speaking of which, we have another point too, don't we? Yeah, we do. I think I'm going to put that into mother load. Of course, we have this now, so I wonder if we should focus on get, getting fortitude at least up to three so we can put another point in a machine gunner. We can also put some stuff into pain tolerance and healing factor and all that too. Yeah, why don't we do that? I like that idea. So yeah, we'll get fortitude up to three. And then we'll get our uh, machine gunner up another point as well. Okay, guys. I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys... Oh, shit. Enjoyed this episode. This is kind of some rough terrain. Uh, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. We made it to the road. See ya. Thank mm -hmm. you.